Wild card made in rare doesn't mess about. Hey yo, welcome back to the Slowpoke World and today I've got a really cool deck for you. Uh, Raikou Amazing Rares, one of the best Amazing Rares. Might not be the most flashy on paper, but let me tell you. 122 places adds up pretty quick on a non-GX. Let's have a look. Right then, so in case you didn't know, Raikou Amazing Rares is a basic Pokemon 110 HP with one attack and my golly, it's a good one. Uh, got Amazing Shot for one Grass, one Electric, one Metal. You do 120 damage to the active and 120, 120 I should say, to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So, this is like extremely good, right? You know, against uh, some decks you can just be like, pop up, two shot all their, um, two shot all their threats. You know, two shot the Dene, two shot Crobat. Or against evolving decks you can just, you know, pick them apart really cool. If I think to myself though, Shay, how are we getting this uh, energy onto Raikou? It's a really awkward attack cost. And you know what? You are correct. Let's have a look. So, I'm opting for this Butterfree in this deck. And it might not be the most competitive, but in my opinion, it's the most fun. It's the easiest to use. Let's have a look. Butterfree is a stage 2 Pokemon, 130 HP, with one attack, triple charge. Search your deck for three basic energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. So, you're probably thinking, Shay, what, you're going to rare candy set up your basic Pokemon. It's way too slow. Uh, not quite, because the Caterpie. And the Metapod both have really good abilities. Uh, the ability is Adaptive Evolution. You can evolve this Pokemon during the first turn or the first turn you play it. So you can, provide you've got in your hand, you can go Caterpie, straight into Metapod, who also has the same ability, straight into your Butterfree, triple charge, and then you've got three energies on your Raikou for the next turn. If Raikou gets killed, you can use Turbo Patches to get energy back on, or you can just go straight back into another Butterfree. Really cool. And the rest of the deck is just tailored around getting that set up. Let's get in some games. We won the coin flip. Oh my lord. How about we flip heads on a turbo batch? This hand is trash. Oh, I guess we got Marnie. I'm just so jaded. <laughs> what are we playing against? Oh, this trash deck. Okay. Two trash decks going against each other. <laughs> oh, snap. Galarian Darmanitan. Jesus Christ. Okay. That's awfully scary. Please, Miss Snom. Thank the lord. Okay. Okay, Caterpie up the top is actually fantastic. Then we, oh, I've only got a three-card hand. I'm thinking, does this find us a Raikou? Does this find us a Crobat? Could find us Crobat. How many Butterfreeze are in deck? Oh, we've got three Turf Field as well. So we have more chances to find... Oh, no, but we've got three Quick Balls as well. So we've got seven outs to a Raikou and seven outs to a Butterfree. Yeah, I'll get out of Butterfree. I'm going to attach energy now because I'm a big scaredy cap. We mind them, which is unfortunate, but oh my lord, we actually got Raikou. I don't like how we haven't really got a lot for the rest of the turn. Nah, they've, they've had a slow start, so we should be fine. To so just triple charge. One, two, and three. We'll attach them to our Raikou. Hopefully, we'll be okay. Same, we've got a good deck. They could be Sassinus. There's a Viridian. Oh, Viridian, I like that. Helps us a lot. Well, then, now they don't play Memory Capsule, so that Darmantan VMAX is not attacking anytime soon. There's a Frostmar. Scary thing is, is our hand is trash. Patch is here. That is interesting. This cannot hit the active. I know that for a fact. There's a switch. Crobat. Okay, so now I'm trying to think do we just try and KO2? Uh, we can carry that barrel scooter thinking about it um we can two shot this we can put our amazing shot here i'm not actually 100 percent sure which is the correct one uh we can two shot that we can two shot the crowbar as well uh, oh we get a research off the top which is kind of nice but i don't want to get rid of so much energy i guess we kind of have to uh, i guess we can attach attach the electric and then we'll research We definitely can't get code next time, which is nice. So I guess we'll just amazing shot. And I want to put, so how many prizes is that? That's five between these two. And then we can just try and get Barrow Scooter at some point. I like the idea of that. Oh, we actually free shot that, Jesus. Maybe we could have put it here. So then we could boss's orders, take four prizes in a turn. But they're going to VMAX that anyway. That's not the case. Take a three prize turn by Boston Orders up here. You need to get down Snom, snom my guy. Okay. Well, then we can KO the Snom. Yeah, we KO the Snom. 
for sure. Unless they're playing Mew. They might play Mew. But they're probably going to put the bank out of the den, ain't they? Yeah. Bosses up this. Hit the snom. They probably concede on that turn. I know I would for sure. <laughs> is it is a is a bit is a bit dirty, but um it is that's what Raikou does today, he's a dirty geezer. No one is safe with Raikou. Just be wary of that. He's getting dangerously close to that that Max White out. <laughs> he's getting close. Probably need to start setting up. We've got a butterfree already, so we can in our turbo patches, yeah. Seem warm. So we probably give it a balloon, right? Get a right cow, start attaching to that young bad boy. Uh, we'll attach electric there. Kind of want to hold on to that metal so we can mine you on the back of that. Uh, how many energies have they seen? Two, three, four, five, six. So they're gonna have one in hand. Um, do you want to give them telescope excite value on that max white out they're going to do next turn so we can either put damage into this put damage in probably damage into their safer shot right? they don't they don't play healing so all i have to do is just amazing shot again one more time so we will yeah we'll put damage there yeah so we just need to amazing shot one more time there let's see what our opponent can do Here's the max white out. Oh, that's a okay, KO. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to Butterfree. If they have boss, we need to Marnie this turn for sure, right? So, yeah, then we'll Marnie. Because if they have boss into our Raikou, I mean, ideally, we can just get a turbo patch off this. Lol, okay. We do get another Raikou down, though. That's kind of that's kind of cool. So we can spread our energy out now. We need a turf field to shuffle our deck a little bit. Get Metapod out of there. Then we'll triple charge. All right, so we need. <laughs> we got one of each. Okay. So we'll touch grass there. And the other two here. So we need grass. Right? Do we have grass in the bin? We've got two grass in the bin. So if they boss us all, just carry this Raikou. We can try it. Well, turbo patch. Okay, so we just win. Hey, battle of the spread decks, baby. We got that amazing shot. Get ready for this. Oh, my load. It's a pretty good bench here, huh? Let's keep moving to game two. Right then, so this next game is actually in post comp because it's an absolute humdinger of a game. And I don't want to lose it. So let's have a look. So. It looks like our opponent was a what a leading there. Get that quick by the way. Vicarvol. Now, I was actually like super scared when they flipped over Vicarvol. I'm just like, oh my lord, uh, they're gonna lock us up. You know, no my luck, we're gonna miss every bit and everything. But then we top deck Butterfree, and it's like, oh, all of a sudden we have a uh, quite a good little turn because now we can just um, turf field out the, uh, the Metapod. We have Butterfree in hand. Quick ball out, uh, almost said Zation. Quick ball out, Raikou. And then we're off to the races. And then the good thing is about Vicar Vault, um, that paralyzing bolt, like if, it, if, if, if our Raikou goes unchecked, our paralyzing bolt, or whatever it's called, sorry, not paralyzing bolt, our amazing shot will absolutely tear holes on our opponent. Because, I mean, paralyzing whatever it's called, bolt from Vicar Vault, only does 50. That's a three shot into a Raikou. And if you're going to let Raikou get off 300, uh, how much is it? What's that? What, 240 damage three times. Doesn't matter what we're playing against. We're going to rod them. So we even end the turn with a boss onto our opponent's Coco. Just to make it a little bit harder for them to even get a Paralyzing Bolt off. Because if they didn't get a Paralyzing Bolt off this turn, oh boy. But, you know, they could be playing stuff like Hammers. They could be playing all that crazy stuff. You never know. All right, so let's see. We'll pass it back over to our opponent. They bench another Vicar Bolt. Uh, they have the switch in hand, so you know, you have to, you know, yeah, we, tr we try our best. You could argue ending the turn with a research there is better if we may pop off some um, turbo patches and that, you never know. But let's have a look. <clears throat> so they they actually evolved, the, uh, so they go into Parasite. Now that was interesting thinking about it. I'm not sure why they did that. Maybe, you know, they wanted to make sure they actually have a Paralyzing Bolt before putting a Vicar Bolt in the active. So we don't just double Amazing Shot. That makes sense. 
But now they have to find another switch or an air balloon. But they have got an energy in the bin for Coco, which is kind of worrying, not going to lie. <laughs> that is kind of scary. Right, let's have a look. So they bench a power. So they fill their bench, which I find interesting. So that means they are locked up now. Whoever's in their hand, they're not playing crab order, then they? Okay, I'll tell a lot clicking Coco. Lol. Lol, 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 lol. Let's have a look. So yeah, there you go. So they've got the energy on that Vicar Vault. There's a great ball from our opponent. For another did they? But the more like two prizes they put down. Here's a crushing hammer. Yikes, that would have been scary. <laughs> but um, the more two prizes they put down, the more value amazing shot out. Because amazing shot, two shots, everything. And they end up turning a bird keeper by the looks of it. Maybe they find more hammers or something. That would be absolutely disastrous, right? <laughs> No, they get out another power set. And I guess, in theory, the power set's going to help bring that um, Paralyzing Bot into a two-shot. That's actually fair. But there's a the Paralyzing Bot. We can't play any items now. But um, it would have been nice to get that another, um, another, what's it called? Raikou. Oh, this is back when I was playing Jirachi Amazing Rare Engine. <laughs> We're not actually playing that anymore, by the way. But uh, I want to just go more Turbo, Turbo, Turbo. To have as many amazing rares in the same deck, huh? <laughs> but there's the amazing shot. Now, it's an interesting position because, granted, we put on a lot of pressure. But equally, they can just attach one more energy and go for the supers that can actually KO us. In that scenario, though, they do break their Paralyze and Bolt Lock. We can go straight back into Butterfree Quick Ball, get out another wild card, and away we go. Or, if we get crazy with the Turbo Patches, we can actually get a little bit mad with it and threaten another amazing shot, hopefully. But there was... But then they got rid of the bosses or got that they did give us some good stuff there, which is a uh, kind of look it for us. They attached the attack to third so it looks like they are gonna go for the super zat can. I guess you have to go for the super zat can here. You ain't got much of a choice. Luckily for us, they have popped their Coco, but you never know they could be playing stuff like turbo patches, so they can potentially get this Vicarbot going next time. As it stands now though, we can just quick ball out a uh, Raikou and away we go back off to the races once again. Air for top's pretty nice, guarantees us a pivot. If they try and get cute with some bosses orders, you never know how these uh, how these people go down, you know what I mean? They're just counting their hands in what they <laughs> So it's fun watching yourself back in them. Right, so quick by the way, Turfield, that seems fine. We get out of the Raikal. Let's see what we do here. We, need to find, we actually need to find energy. Turbo patch? Ooh, get heads. That's very rare, that is. There we take metal, because we've uh, we've seen two metals already. We can actually develop Jirachi Air Balloon as a pivot. It's actually kind of interesting. Quite a lot of idea thinking about it. See, so yeah, that's what we do. Oh, there we go. Active. That's fine. Got communication away. Did NA. What's this for then? Interesting. What is. Oh, another one. Okay. Because I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we've we got Turbo Patch Heads. We can spread our range out a little bit. And then we Marnie. Super strong term. For sure. Really putting a fresh on our opponent. Needed to find energy there though. So we can do our. Uh, Triple charge, and uh, thank goodness we did, eh? Thank goodness we did. We can actually communication away Caterpie now, it's kind of like a Crobat. Unsure that's what we're going to do. It doesn't, doesn't look like we are. I think I'm fine. Uh, so we take one of each color. Obviously, one of the Rock House already has a metal, so we don't need to attach that one there. So we get a sneaky other attachment onto a uh, second Rock House. And, and uh, three Rock House will definitely win us this game. Especially since we're not putting down two prizes. There's no way they're going to realistically catch us up in prize trade. Uh, super that kind of super costly for one prize, you know what I mean? And when we're throwing out 240 damage, it's just that it gets a bit silly, if you know what I mean. It gets a bit silly. But let's see what our opponent does. I just can't remember. This is a while ago, this game. <laughs> Funnily enough, uh, Paralyzer Bot doesn't even KO Butterfree, which is a super insult if you've ever heard one. There's a Yell Horn. So I'm guessing they're going to like attach to the back. There's the bird keeper. It goes to power sets, obviously. Yeah, that makes sense. So now Paralyzing Bolt does care about three. There's a chaotic swell. I mean, we don't really need turf fields now. Quite right, sometimes you need two butterfries in the game. But I think, you know, we, we can just hopefully manual attach the way for this game now. You know, hopefully get a turbo patch head if they break paralysis lock, which they have to do. Oh, there's this. <laughs> oh, no, there's the. Okay, I was going to say, I'm sure they get a KO though. But I don't think they realise. Um, how powerful uh, Raikou is. Raikou is an absolute damage counter thrower. He is a wrecker of hopes 
and dreams. I'm sure this uh, person, what's this person's name? Zephyr 3003. I'm sure they thought that he has just had a good ch um, chance in this game. But I'm here to tell you, and so is my Raikou, my little pet Raikou. He's going to say to you, you know what? You're wrong. Boom! Raikou Amazing Rare doesn't mess about. <laughs> Let me know what you think about Raikou Amazing Rare. I think it's really fun. After, I'm not sure if Butterfree is 100% the best way to go. I do feel this is by far the easiest way to play the deck though. Um, so let me know what you think. You have the more vivid voltage uh, deck profiles and gameplay. Smash that subscribe button down there and check that playlist out. We've been putting out daily videos for you guys, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.